Hey all, welcome to the sixth location of the Quetzal Cotal Quest Line. So in the previous location we fought with some ants or rather helped them and got some corn for Quetzal Cotal to eat. Quetzal Cotal said she was she does not feed on meat. But then she remembered long ago a bunny had promised her that he can she can eat him. and she just wanted to do justice to him so she wants to eat him so we are in bunny's home to find that bunny okay i could see some solutions to the rotatable stones here are the stones themselves mm, there's no confusion because there's Just one of each type. This location is seven hundred and thirteen tiles long, and will cost around one point thirty-five million energy. that opens up a bridge which is not accessible directly we will have to go back to the cave i guess we could have built a better bridge right from that outside region rather than us going back anyway that wasn't a long journey anyway so let's continue Two rotatable stones. Let's see. The solution must be in the other tunnel. All right. Here is the solution. So let's go ahead and. Rotate them accordingly. There are still no signs of the bunny. He seems to be quite far away. And this one is top left, top right, and this is bottom. All right, that has opened up a bridge over that pond.
as well bridge over a river this time but still no signs of the bunny these bridges are making us go back to the holes and then back from the other side this is just unnecessary anyway so let's see if we find the bunny this time yet another river so yet another bridge Right again we have to go back. I was kind of expecting a bridge nearby where Dick was standing. Still a long way to go. Here's a cave. I hope we don't have to come back from it. Okay, two more rotatable stones, and the solutions are just there. Here we have been going through tunnels into the caves under the ground and over again and again and we are yet to find the bunny I don't know I'm not sure will the bunny agree to be get eaten by Quetzal Quetzal I don't think so. There must be something other to the story. Otherwise, maybe we just find him at the end. But this surely looks like the bunny's home. There is the bunny. Alright, so he says he does not want to be eaten by Kutzal Kotal. He heard just promised him that she can eat him because she had helped him once but now he has changed his mind he didn't don't want to get eaten and we have to save him his wife has a plan so let's go ahead and talk to him talk to her there are two of them these look like the children and not the wife and they seem to be concerned that their dad is going to die. Don't worry kids, Diggy will save your dad. Okay, that's the wife. So we'll bake a cake looking like the husband. Okay, so that's great. She looks like an excellent egg, uh, cake maker because she can make a cake exactly looking like her husband. So that's some really intricate designing. So Ricky is going to cheat on Kutsal Kotal. 
and I hope she does not find out. It's the matter of saving one life, so it's always better to save the life than sacrifice it to the world. Anyway, so we need some chocolate for the cake. And this looks like a town. A lot of houses, but we can enter none of them. Lot of stands like a market, but I don't think there is any chocolate in the market either. Okay, there is one hut there which we can enter. Spices? I don't want spices. Uh, so she wants some potatoes. So this is really looking a little complex because she said that I we want spices. I mean we don't want yet, but I think there is somebody else who will find, want the potatoes. And to get the potatoes, we have to get the spices and something like that. feeling this is going to be like jumping from pillar to post okay looks like a potato farm and to get potatoes we need fish okay so from fish to potatoes to spices is this a pond? no not a pond bananas pumpkins oh my god there are so many items i am a lot of confused right now and i think i will need to go from here and there again and again checking out every house again and again because i am not remembering the order Okay, to get some fish, we have to help the kids win. I think that will go, that will be easy. Um, how are we supposed to make the kids win? Team that gets the ball on the opposite side wins. So we have to move the ball, I guess. Very easy, but yes, going around will help. There's a marker we have to put the ball on, so the kids win, the noise no more, so we can get the fish now, and with fish, we can get something else, and so on. Mm, there was this hole there which has a treasure part and yet another hole to somewhere else and just going to do the treasure part first since we are here it's amna is concerned about the calendar of course we need the calendar and uh, finding the calendar won't be so easy anyway we are at the treasure part so let's talk about that we have to coin, count the quadrilaterals. This actually was one of my favorite puzzles in my childhood. I love to count the quadrilaterals. So not going to be hard for me. Let's take up those tiles first. Uh, 
here are some numbers in the centers as well as sides right there is a single digit there and there are double digits to the top oh there are so many quadrilaterals to count this is going to be fun all right one last side then we will start the counting all right so let's start from the bottom left here 3 big squares 1 big central square 4 small central squares 2 rectangles 1 vertical 1 bottom is 14 there are four quadrilaterals in the central square as well two big ones or whatever yes 14 is the correct count this is a single digit should be easy four big ones and two small ones Six small ones, four big ones, and one really big one. And of course, there are some horizontals as well. In the top horizontal, we get two squares. In the bottom horizontal, we get two squares. should be the answer according to my counting right three and two big squares down there the three also have two squares one vertical top a uh, big center mm, one small between the two squares yes 10 should be it if you want to know the calculations exactly you can just comment below and tell me which one you did not understand if you counted wrong and I'll just explain it to you anyway so we have got the treasure part let's go back now we still have to go from pillar to post for making i mean for finding the chocolate to make a cake let's see what this other hole has mm, this already seems to be a shortcut bag we surely don't want to go back yes we are back to the wise and it's kind of correct it was a shortcut anyway we still don't have the chocolate so let's continue finding it question is where do we start there was somebody down here which we can talk to so let's go ahead and do that i think there's one other hut which we can enter to the right okay we start from here for some chocolate we need x and he of course says we'll run out of patience quickly he is 
absolutely correct i already know the spatial okay for some x we need bananas this is getting a little clearer so as of now we need x uh, no we need bananas not too many tiles left but i think the most time consuming part will, would be jumping from here to there uh, we had earlier stopped the kids help them fill so we can get the fish and with the fish i think we can get potatoes if i remember correctly yes we got the potatoes three sacks of them and with potatoes will we get the bananas no for the bananas we need pumpkins for pumpkins what do we need right there is one other heart here which has pumpkins in it so let's go ahead and see what do we need for the pumpkins for the pumpkins we need spices Uh, if i remember correctly for the spices we needed potatoes but then where is the house with the spices i forgot where that is i think that hole there or maybe going back I'm not exactly sure This one is X. This one is chocolate. Mm, nothing else here, I think. This is the X. We need bananas, and for bananas we need pumpkins. For pumpkins we need spices. And I had seen some spices earlier. I think it was that hole on the right. Okay, let's go back. There is nothing in this part of the town. This one must be the spices. This one is not the spices. This one was the shortcut to go back. So where is the spices? just pumpkins bananas and potatoes here and the fish we already got uh, i'm not very sure at all yes i think it was this hat i totally forgot about this uh, for some reason i was back here but i did not notice that gate here so yes this one is definitely spices here you go It's a chili, not a spices. Spices look something different. Okay, that one in the corner, that is spices. Not just one. We have more spices here. There are actually good topazes in this location, so that's great. 
right three spices is all we needed now let's go back spices was needed by uh, i think the banana guy With pumpkins, we can get bananas. That was the order. All right, all pumpkins in our bag. This one is bananas. With bananas, I think it was eggs. right here so are you giving us the eggs now yes thank you how to run her that's interesting so we just have to cross through the flags he seems to be quite fast will you give him KV Finn. Let's see, get some eggs. Finally, we are coming to an end with the eggs. We can finally get chocolate and give it to the wife to make a cake. shortcut but that is not really a shortcut because that shortcut was on the other end this one was the correct way for us so let's go back is this the end of quest i haven't cleared all the tiles yet but yes, the quest surely has ended. Let's use the last tile finder and find the missing tiles first. This one was not it. We still have more tiles to find. This was a really interesting location, although a really confusing one and if you think too much about it, you might even get a headache. So just don't think. You can always visit each chat and find out who needs what. I wish they can make more of such locations. So yes, it was really interesting and we are done with all the tiles also. So talking to Quetzalco Tal okay it was funny of course it was fake anyway so that's it thank you for watching see you in the next location